Hey guys, Kev here, and I wanted to show you a new flashlight that came in. This is from Workhouse, and this is the HD01. And this is a uh, flat style uh, flashlight with some cool features. Now, it's very similar, if you are aware of Olight, uh, very similar to their Arcfelt model. And I don't know which came first in terms of uh, design. I don't know if Olight kind of created this design aspect. I know that um, Nightcore has the EDC series, the 27 and the 25, I think. Um, there's some other ones, if, if I remember correctly, like the, uh, is it the Stiletto? And something else from Surefire, maybe? Um, Anyway, there's a there's a few with this sort of uh, form factor, except Olight, I feel like, was the first to kind of make it a point type thing versus a uh, reverse grip type thing. This is sort of tactical, where this is sort of EDC style, if that makes sense. Um, the Olight, this is a Arcfeld Pro, I believe. Yeah, um, this has a UV light. It has a laser and it has a regular flashlight, which is pretty cool. Um, and I've had this for months and really enjoyed it. My kid loves the laser on it. Um, so she'll, you know, go around the house chasing this thing or whatever. Um, I try to keep an eye on her, make sure she's not pointing it in her eye or mine. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's the Arcfeld. But anyway, I just thought I'd show that because I know there's gonna be people who go, that's an Arcfell copy or whatever. Um, so there you go. Uh, but this is different. Uh, it does have a laser, green laser, and it does have a light. So it's very similar in that sense. But then instead of a UV light, it has this light on the side, which is interesting. So I kind of just tap through the different modes to um, figure them out. So I'll show you those in a second, but it does have this reverse style clip, very tight. Um, I feel like, yeah, the ones on the Olex are a lot easier to uh, pick up. This is tough, man. Um, let me test it out. Yeah, it's, it's really tight, but it does work. Um, so again, with the laser, you really just tap it and it turns on this button. Um, can you have both on? Yes, you can have both. You can't see it right now, but oh, there you go. You can see the laser there uh, along with the light. So you can do both. Now, if you double tap the laser button, you will get a side light. And from there, you can uh, hold down and it will get brighter. You can hold down again and it will get dimmer. Um, depending on the mode you're in, it's a low, medium, high situation. You can double tap it and nothing happens. Uh, you can hold it and you'll get the uh, cycle again there. Now, if you hit this button, you can turn on the front light while you have that light on and you can cycle through same way there. If you double tap this one, you'll get turbo here, triple tap, Sorry, one, two, three, you get strobe, one, two, three, four, nothing, okay? Um, turn that off, so that was a double tap, right? If you hold, you get this guy on the side in different colors. Now, if I hold again, it'll start shifting through an RGB or whatever you call that. I think there's like seven colors that can rotate through. And if you let go, it will hold on that color. And then if you turn it off and you hold again, it'll come back on in that color, which is pretty cool that you can do that. Now from here, if you double tap, you get a beacon in that specific color. Double tap again and it kind of turns off. Triple tap, oops, sorry. You get a um, series of different things that you can do. So you have this police light thing. Now if I um, hold, is it hold, I think? Nope. 
double tap maybe. Yeah, double tap again, sorry. And now you're going through a sort of rainbow pride type thing here. Double tap again, we're getting this sort of fireworks looking lasery thing in all different colors. The colors don't translate too well, but it's changing through all seven colors as it does that. Double tap again, you get the cops. Rainbow, fireworks, and off. You see that flash? I tapped it four times, and now the flashlight is locked. Four, and it's back on. One, two, and you get this guy. So there's a lot to remember here, right? Hold. You get this, um, and then you hold, and it'll cycle, double tap, and you get beacon, and so on and so forth. So there's a lot going on with it, but it has a lot of features, which it's pretty cool that it does all that. Um, here it is, HD01. I will uh, put a link to this down below. I do believe they... Um, did they send me a code of some sort? Let me just see. So it says the discount code usually needs to be made one day before the post of the video because it is time limited. So I asked them to just send me the code because I knew this right here would happen. Uh, that I wouldn't have the code for you because um, I'm just filming it when I have time. So I will put a link down below, uh, sorry, a link and a code, uh, whether it's Amazon or whatever, and then I'll put the discount code as well. Um, they didn't tell me uh, what the discount is, but their stuff is already very affordable. So, um, you know, it's probably like another 10% or something, but I wouldn't be shocked if this thing was like, I don't know, 50 bucks tops. Um, let me go to Amazon and see. No, not Amazon, Netherlands. HD, let's see, work goes HD01. So here it is. Yep, 50 bucks. I mean, it's incredible. Really is incredible what, what these guys can produce for the price. Um, they have a silver and a black. Now, this green is available on their website right now. So I will put a link to that as well. Um, and then there's even a, look at this, apply 30% right now. So add to cart, let's see. Uh, I don't wanna show you my stuff here, but let's just see what it comes out to. 37.09, saved 15 bucks. So you can get it in black or silver for $37. That's crazy, isn't it? $37 for this? I mean, that is one difference. I mean, arc, the arc felt sick, dude. But how much is this? They're not expensive either in the grand scheme of things. Um, but I'm pretty sure this is like $80 or $100 probably. Um, $37. That's insane. It really is. So um, if I can get a link to this green one, if anybody's interested in the green aluminum one, I'll do that. But it'll be on their website as well. Um, just check, check the description down below. I'll have a link to everything, discount code. I'll put all that. But um, yeah, unless it's a 15% uh, code, or what did I say? 30% code um, that they gave me on Amazon, then you might as well use that one, you know? So I'll link it on Amazon down there as well for you guys. Um, basically, just check the description. Um, here's some specs for the people who uh, have to have those. Twelve hundred lumens on turbo. You have high at four fifty. That's probably the one you want to look at. And there's all your other information. So let me know if you guys have any questions on this. I uh, I really enjoyed checking this one out. I just thought it was. Super interesting um, having the side light yet being that same form factor we've seen um, quite a bit now. Um, it's a little bit more compact. There was another one, was it from Sofern, I think, that I checked out that had a side light as well, but it was kind of, it was bigger and sort of thicker this way. And 
more of a block where this is a, a nice, comfortable, thin, you know, EDC style. I mean, if you compare it, I know everybody's going to compare these. That's why I'm just doing it. Um, they're almost identical in size. The uh, Workos is actually slightly shorter. So if I line them up at the tails, you can see right there, it's slightly shorter. It is um, slightly thicker, not by much, not by much, but it is a little bit thicker. I'm feeling the magnets uh, just retracting on each other. Now, let me make sure, does this have a magnet? Okay, maybe this isn't very magnetic, so let me try something else, like a blade here. So you'll see, this obviously has a magnet right there. I don't think it has one anywhere else. This one also has a magnet on the rear. That's good to know. I know uh, some people are gonna wonder that, and it can hold the flashlight straight up and down, which is great. So you could put this on your fridge or a pipe in the basement or wherever, right? And um, that's great. It's not super advertised there. Um, guess we could check and see if there's anything else I missed. What is this about Frankfurt? Where did I see Frankfurt? Oh, there. Frankfurt on mine, Germany. See any connection, e commerce to Linnegraben 20. Interesting. I don't know what that. I don't know if that's the company or what. You get um, a little lanyardy guy, and you get, of course, a A to C there, and then you get a user manual. I showed you, I think, most of it. Sure, I could have missed some stuff along the way. Here's all the specs again, for those of you who have to have that. So it does say spotlight floodlight, which is interesting. Maybe the floodlight is the side light they're counting as a floodlight. Um, so they're showing one click green light on off, uh, RGB ramping, uh, one click off hold RGB ramping, two clicks flashing, we did that. Uh, two clicks floodlight uh, on, one click off, low, medium, high, we talked about that. Three clicks RGB light on, Police flash, waterfall, droplets, those, that's what they're calling those, off. Uh, four clicks, lock, unlock. And then five clicks is breathing switch on, off. Interesting, okay, so let's try that. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, cool. See how the buttons are breathing? That's pretty sick. You could actually use that in your, if you use this as your EDC, that would kind of be like, um, a tritium kind of thing, be an indicator for you on your nightstand. It might be annoying to some people, but I don't know. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, turn that off. Um, and then on the rear button, we have moonlight, main light, memory, uh, turbo, strobe, and lock, unlock. So wait, are we locking and unlocking just the one? So, I guess they're just saying it'll, you can lock or unlock with either button. Um, but yeah, looks like I covered everything. I like to kind of organically figure this stuff out myself, to be honest. But um, some people give me shit for not looking at instructions, so I wanted to just do it so you guys uh, know that I covered everything. So there you go. That is the uh, Work Ghost HD01. Really like it. Highly recommend it for the price point. I think it's uh, pretty much a no-brainer. So, I love you guys. Uh, I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. Thanks to Workos for sending this in. And uh, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.